can build a better village, villagers, oh. or actual human players? All right. Here we go. Great start. Okay. Everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody up to the temple. Hello. Up to the temple. All right, villagers. It's all about to go downhill from here. We are in actual danger. We are in an actual desert, and it's hot. It's so hot. There's no resources anywhere. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to do it together. Aren't we, Monch? Mo 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 inch. In case you're new around here, these villagers can actually mine, craft, and even build. And over the next five episodes, we're going to see how well they can handle Minecraft's harshest biomes. Where at the end, the villagers will have to defend themselves against the players in an epic war. But today, our story starts in the desert, where they'll each have five days to build the better village. Different worlds, same seed. Oh, and if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future episodes. No matter who's playing, there's only one way to start a Minecraft world, by punching trees. But what do you do when there are no trees? We have a bunch of desert-themed buildings to make, so we gotta get to work. There's just one small problem. There's absolutely no trees around. There's a village, but no trees. Um, what are we gonna do about this, guys? This is... A prop tumbleweeds, let's go. Don't worry guys, I've got this. Please have a sapling, come on, I know you can. A feather. Tumbleweeds are the only way to obtain certain resources, from saplings to sticks, to even more rare items, like a totem of undying. So, in order for the villagers to get started, it was tumbling time. Oh, Acacia sapling, let's go. Don't worry guys, I got this, I promise. Okay, this is great and all, but we actually need at least an oak sapling. Ah, wheat, come on. Uh, birch sapling, let's go. An iron ingot? Tumbleweed stick. A golden nugget. All right, Tumbleweed, what you got? A feather, a dead bu- a dead bush. Ugh. A bone. I got a bone to pick with these tumbleweeds. <laughs> I'm trying, Monch. I'm trying. Try tumbling harder. No, another acacia sapling. I just need an oak sapling, please, anywhere. Gathering resources was pretty difficult. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, I did. Oh, wait, there's another one. There's another one. This is going to be it. I just know it. Let's go. A dead bush. So for the players, they put their heads together and kicked off the day with a town meeting. All right, everyone, listen up. We have one goal and one goal alone, and that is to make a better village than the villagers, and we're, we're, we're going to do it. We plan on doing it, and we have a plan to do so. But in order to make these builds, we need resources. So we're going to split up these days evenly. We're going to set up community chests at this temple, and everyone will need to get sand, sandstone, wood, cactus, whatever they can find, bring it over, and put it in a chest. We will then use the next session to start building a, an amazing village but we need blocks to pull this off so just go get blocks bring them over here and we will just gather resources that's the plan yes sir. let's go let's go so it was settled the players would spend their first day gathering resources there you go food with some players even invading a nearby village for food and iron hello i have wheat for all we need saplings wheat for all you can get saplings from tumbleweed and don't forget about tumbleweed weeds oh. so it wasn't long before the players also had their first sapling those are all the ones that i have currently we got we got wood oh, oh tumbleweed 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 oh, go get that go get that go get that oh gosh it's oh sugar cane i got sugar oh, place cane. that next to the water place that next to the water meanwhile other players wasted no time progressing as quickly as possible with a player by the name of rogel even being the first to enter the nether on a quest to find netherite the portal from uh, the traditional speedrunners technique the players were working together surprisingly well, with seemingly everybody individually working towards the progression of their society. No! No! <laughs> no! no! no I want, All right, Craig, I Craig want can you just credit. get mining? That was until the nighttime welcomed an Enderman into town. I need to tell him. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, someone Who dropped my Who is like, looking oh. at the Enderman? You guys are idiots. No, 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 wait, 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 no, no, no. But the players weren't the only ones fighting for their lives. The villagers were struggling with a problem of their own, already dying from hunger. Oh no, Jeff! I trust me, I know how you feel. Please hang on just a little bit longer, guys. I don't really have any food, but I do have an idea. 
I can think of some people who do, and look at them. They think they're so much better than us with all their hay bales. But wait until we steal those delectable hay bales from right under their nose. The covert operation to steal hay bales had begun, but with an entirely new set of villagers, because the old ones literally died before we could even make it over there. Yeah, guys, yeah, 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 hurry. Hurry, don't let anybody see you. Uh, don't mind us, Golem. <laughs> We're just hanging out. We're just admiring your hay bales. Oh, uh, don't worry, guys. I will distract them. You guys ever been to Mine Donald's? <clears throat> that place is crazy. Don't. Nothing's going on over here. Let's go. Hurry. Go, go, go. And with the food problem temporarily under control, the villagers set out to build their first house. All right, guys. I think the first plan of action is to start expanding. We need a furnace so that we can get a blacksmith. And the first house we're going to build is a wooden miner's house, which comes with a furnace. Now we just need to decide where we're going to put it. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we just put it, uh, uh, and we're going to put it right up there. Let's go, guys. Good work. I'm loving I'm loving it. I'm loving it. What are you doing over there? Come on. Help the guys out. Guys, this might only be one house, but this is the beginning <laughs> of the end. We are still in danger. But thankfully, this house does actually come with two beds, so we are looking good. But at the very least, we can now hire ourselves one blacksmith, meaning we can finally smelt. So we got to work, mining resources and crafting the blocks we need to build new houses. I found this awesome cave that has a bunch of coal and a bunch of iron iron but honestly i'm really scared that a zombie's oh that's not good yeah that's exactly what i was terrified of hey hey guys maybe maybe let's get out of the cave let's not go further down in the cave buddy there's danger right there and uh right there oh i've got really high hopes for this village but honestly it's gonna be a really really big challenge not only do i want to build every single one of our awesome desert houses i also want to find a place to build a really really giant great pyramid but before we can get started let me show you the red magic 9 pro the gaming phone destroying all other competition let's check it out to start it holds up to 16 gigabytes of the fastest ram you can get and up to 512 gigabytes of you UFS 4.0 storage, powered alongside the insanely powerful Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 processor. So is it fast? Oh yeah. It's also proudly rocking a brand new full flat 6.8 inch AMOLED display with no camera bumps. And believe me when I say the display here is absolutely unreal, but so is the sound coming through its upgraded dual stereo speaker system, which coupled with these low latency shoulder triggers makes for the ultimate gaming experience. And for long play sessions, they've got you covered with a 6,500 milliamp hour battery with an insanely fast 80 watt charger. For context, other flagships phones only come with an underwhelming 4400 milliamp battery. Yikes. One of the coolest facts about this phone is the 10 layer cooling system and high speed 22,000 RPM fan with built in customizable RGB lighting that quite literally makes the Red Magic 9 Pro the chill that never ends. And it comes in three different colors Snowfall, Cyclone, and Sleep. Hit the link in the description or the pinned comment to get yours today. But that's gonna be easier said than done. Until then, we have to wait until our resources grow, wait until we get more villagers, and get to a point to where we oh a, a totem of undying okay that just makes no sense and wait until we can get to a point where we no longer have to steal food from the neighboring village speaking of which yeah yeah nice guys look they're not even looking they oh yeah oh what nothing we didn't take anything hi <laughs> we're here to visit uh here's a totem of undying for all of your awesome work as our neighbor guys let's get out of here come on watch this pranked get wrecked come on let's go <laughs> loser no oh. wait a minute can i actually build this on top of this house i'm doing it no way guys okay that is just not right <laughs> That is not right. I don't even think they know how to build. It's like it broke them. But at the very least, we've got another furnace, which is actually fantastic. All right, guys, I officially dub thee the McDouble. With two furnaces in our village, we could now smelt twice as fast. So I started smelting wood into charcoal for fuel to make the blocks we needed in order to build more houses. Guys, I have fantastic news. 
we can finally build the big house. Let's go, Austin. That is my real name. Let's go, Jonathan. I don't know who you are. <laughs> For every bed in our village, a new villager comes to town. And since we started with five villagers, that meant we had to build five beds before we could even begin. So that every additional bed after that would invite one more villager to our village. And with this house, we finally did it. Let's go. We got one bed in here. We got two beds in here. What do we got up here? Come on, bring us another bed. Let's go. Just just like that, we have four new beds, bringing our total to eight. So I believe we should be expecting three new villagers. <gasps> Yo, we got another Austin, let's go. That's actually not good news. We have a big problem on our hands. We've been stealing hay bales from the nearby village, but as you can see, they're all gone. So we're gonna have to do something a little bit more permanent. So the great seed heist had begun. Hurry guys, get it before he does. You, you steal it from him. Meaning now we could build a farm of our own. Finally, guys, we can fix our moral compass and do our own farming instead of stealing from the neighbors because that's bad. And that guy hurts me. <laughs> and as the villagers made progress, so did the players who were working together to tear down the desert pyramid, build farms, and collect resources to build a massive project. Even working together to fight a horde of mummies in the process. Oh God, okay. Craig, <laughs> uh, we have a bit of a oh, crisis. Oh my goodness. Uh, wait, I can't get out. I'm, st I'm trapped. <sighs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but I just said it's gonna hit a bunch of stuff. You know, I call Oh, we got carrots. What the? We got carrots. We got carrots. Man, that Yay! horde actually helped us. Uh, there's another Yay! horde coming. There's another horde coming. <laughs> <laughs> and even through the sunrise, they weren't slowing down anytime soon. Their plan to divide into groups was actually working. That was until some interesting rumors began to spread. Wait, did I hear, did no, I hear word of a rebellion? Uh, uh, apparently, there's people who are intending on blowing this place up, going on a villain arc. We won't let that happen, though. Yeah, that, that's, I can't let people peace? be stupid. You know, what, you know what, guys? You know what we need? Peace, love, and plants. All right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. <laughs> peace, okay. love, and plants. If you're new around here, the place Players have had a bad history of letting politics and chaos keep them from prospering. But these players had a new strategy. A majority of the players in this challenge only had their eyes set on the goal to build a better village, ignoring any and all unnecessary conflict. So, whoever the bandits of rebellion were, these players weren't going to let them get in their way. And so they persevered, spending the rest of day one laying down the foundation for their big project. And even through an intense sandstorm, their unrelenting dedication kept them focused on the goal to build the better village. But the players weren't the only ones making progress. And just like that, the McTrouble has been built. Oh yeah, this looks awesome. I know, I can't control my excitement either, man. Woo! Oh, there's a party going on up there. <clears throat> oh, let's go. The big guys, Harold and Robert doing the business. Look at that. We officially have a water well. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling pretty good about our progress on day one. Not to mention, these guys are just killing it. We don't need a lot of stone, but we're definitely going to need some. And we need ores and different gems and all that good stuff. So guys, I appreciate your hard work and your dedication to this village. Guys, we don't share secrets here. What do you whisper? Oh, I have a, I have a feeling it's about me. <laughs> Or maybe it's about you. Get out of here, man. But as the sun sets, guys, that is our day one. Villagers, we continue onward tomorrow. In the middle of the night, more rumors of the rebellious players began to spread. Um, so what's this about a rebellion? I say for now, we just leave them be to do their own thing, since they technically aren't really affecting us as of yet, and there's only so much they'll be able to do. This Our builds are being huge. There's only so much they'll really be able to damage. Yeah. This was unsettling for a lot of the players who were just trying to build in peace. So the call for a meeting at sunrise began to spread around town, even making its way to some of the rebels. Wait, what time is it outside? Because we need we need to go to the meeting. The meeting? Why? Because then we won't seem as quite as sus. We need to like, actually appear for some of their things, because otherwise it's they're going to be like, like, wait, night. what are you doing? It's, it's almost daytime. 
All right, then we need to head out. Let's go. And so they trekked through the desert, making it just in time for the town meeting. Okay, I need I need everyone to listen up because this next point is very important. There has been a huge lack of food going around, and we are going to need to settle this problem. So I know we already have like some farms being worked on, but we need a group of people dedicated to expanding food farms, making community food for anyone can come grab it, move on, and as well as just fishers as well. Um, um the last thing I can think of are just builders. If you want to use this sand to try to decorate the surroundings here, go ahead. Dude, have we got any updates about the <laughs> rebellion not. miners or something? We are aware that there is a slight rebellion, but we are also aware that they, at the moment, can't really do much. So I say we just ignore them. There's way more of us than them. If they come over, we'll just kill them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Vilo on our side. Guys, easy, there's like one person in the rebellion, so... so. <laughs> yeah, no, the rebellion, the rebellion, the rebellion, yeah, the rebellion is a not a problem. Little did they know, the rebellion was there listening to their mockery. But that was actually the least of their concern, as the harsh elements of the desert began to show signs of a growing danger. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, not today. Not today. <laughs> Jump! It hurts! <laughs> No, go ahead. No, 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 no. I am also on fire. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. The desert was quickly heating up, but the players chose to ignore the signs in front of them and continued building. Meanwhile, the villagers were ready to take on a new day. Good morning, gentlemen. It is day two, and today we're going to build more houses so that we can get more villagers. What are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, the McTrouble? I know. Isn't it amazing? Look at you guys just farming away. I love it. You're doing good, guys. I believe in you. Keep on going. Can they hear me? What is that I see? A tumbleweed just for me? A sapling. Great. <laughs> but that's actually perfect because we need to build a tree farm. And we need to do it now. The key to building a successful village is resource management. So the first thing on my list for the day was to build a tree farm for the villagers. Let's go, Eric! Let's go, Richard! You guys are doing great! You guys are carrying this village. Aw, oh, look at him! He's doing the Austin dance! It's on TikTok now! Yeah! The tree farm is looking good! But we actually need more villagers because this is taking forever! And that is why, as you can see behind me, we have started work on a brand new building. Looking good, guys! Looking good! And new villagers means new mining villagers! Oh, where'd you guys- Hello? Where are you going? Guys, the quarry's the other way! Oh, um, uh, 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 guys. There was definitely a better way down there. But guys, before we work on the quarry, I want to work on the tree farm. We got a lot more sand to clear out. Lumberjack, 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 lumber. Where are you guys going? The house isn't done. Be what? What is this? It's done. We got a lumberjack's house. Oh, oh uh, come on, guys. Guys, you can get out of this. You're smarter than. Don't break the house. This is great news. Now we can actually hire a. Lumberjack. boy, guys. That's exactly what I'm looking for. More villaging, more chopping. That's what I'm talking about, Scott. Whoop, whoop. And with that out of the way, it was time to put on our hard hats and start building. Okay, so I have three major projects for today. Number one, I want to build a stone lumberjack's house. I also want to build a stone miner's house. And I want to finish it off with a small house number five. First up, I want to build the stone miner's house. This is going to let us use iron tools, which is going to be so much better. And it also adds one bed. Can't complain there. Let's go. One iron miner, please. The only problem is that they actually require iron. I mean, go figure, right? And yeah, I, I don't have like any. So I do have an idea. But unfortunately, we would need a warrior in order to do it. Yet again, another reason I wanna build a warrior's home so that I can take out the iron golems and harvest their free iron. What is going on over here? Why is there a meeting? Meanwhile, something sinister was heating up for the players. What is <laughs> Fire-nado naturally spawned and began ripping through town. What else? Help! 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 No! No! Oh my gosh! How did I survive that? Look this! Right on! All of my friends have died. Look this! Fight him! Fight him! Fight him! Fight him! And 
just as quickly as it appeared, the Fire Nato bid farewell. Goodbye, my friend. We gotta find. You we gotta were find a good animals. tornado. I live. You wrecked ever. Oh, my only potato. Oh, oh. my only potato. Oh. Duh. How'd that one TNT? Crack. Yeah. Rest in I, peace. Did I just witness Crack get smited? Fire. Same thing. Fortunately, their village didn't disdain much destruction. It was the resources in their inventories that was lost. A minor setback that caused for a moment of poetic grief. Yeah, Raging fire, in your gaze, lost in the mesmerizing blaze. In your whirlwind, hearts collide. A love story, hard to hide. Roaring tempest, fiery embrace, hearts entwined, a passionate chase. In the spiral, a dance so sweet, love's inferno, can't be beat. It wasn't long before the players got back on their feet, spending the rest of day two collecting resources and building shops for their village. <laughs> Yo, who's who's the music man over here? I am taking a, this. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> you gotta be that way. You ruined all the fun. With some players even making common areas to socialize. Overall, the morale of the village was high, and players were more determined than ever to build the better village. Seems like yeah, these, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. these funds are, are uh, ironing out. Meanwhile, the villagers were ending day two by building yet again another new house, with the hopes of bringing more villagers to town. And now we can finally build the big small house? That's a weird name, but we've actually got a kind of a big problem on our hands. I really hope they don't come over here. Maybe if I just stay over here, they won't notice me. <laughs> well, hello, what do we have here? This is a beautiful new addition to our village with four, count them, four brand new beds. And it even comes with a beautiful chimney. Look at, oh, tumbleweed. Ugh, I am kind of tired. I've been doing a lot of commanding today. Ugh, I could really go for some Cheerios. Today was a pivotal moment for the competition to build the better village. Oh yeah, baby, another day in Minecraft's hottest desert. <laughs> Are we still in danger? The players were successfully working together, building statues amongst other impressive projects, while the villagers were entirely focused on growing their numbers. When the challenge started, there were only five villagers, with the players having nearly 40. So if there was any hope of winning, the villagers needed as much help as they could get. I think today is going to be a really good day. I want to build at least three new buildings, starting with a quarry. This will bring more villagers that we can turn into mining villagers. And then I want to make a miner's guild house, which will allow us to utilize diamond for diamond pickaxes. And I want a small warrior's house so that we can farm animals. But I think our day actually starts down here in the caves. Oh no. That was a close one. Check this out. There's a couple of diamonds. We can get those right off the bat. And now that these caves are exposed, we can actually go around and try and find some good ore. Look at that. We got some iron. My only hope is that the mining villagers actually, you know, come down here. <laughs> so I started day three by going spelunking with a villager in search of diamonds. You know, it feels a little weird being down here in the mines with one single villager. <laughs> hey, Peter, there's more right here. Hey, Peter, do you see what I see? Oh my God, there's so much iron here. Let's go. Ooh. I'm so proud of you, Peter. Please be careful though. <laughs> this is, oh my God, there's so much iron. This is crazy. That was proving to be more difficult than expected. Peter, Peter, no. <laughs> you turn your back for one second and they burn in lava. Wow. As for the players, they kicked off the new day with a town meeting in hopes of coming up with a solution to solve a big problem. So today is day three, and I think it's safe to say we are making some good progress here. Hey, Klauser, you seem What's pretty up? stumped. Can we, like, anybody kick, this got guy, can we kick this guy out of the civilization? <laughs> There's lava yeah, down there. So here's what we need to do today. Today, um, a big part of what we need to get done is, um, well, I like farming, statue farming, this is. and moss. So main Wait, thing we need to focus on is farming, and we need to focus on farming a lot. The few farms we do have 
are not being expanded and it is causing a serious oh, food shortage. And other than that, we are just gonna keep I building. I need a team a to go find how so. many villagers yeah. are left. Everyone who's going, everyone who goes to, who's going to the Nether, come over here. And so all of the players went back to their post, managing farms, fishing for food, and building. And despite the rumors of a rebellion continuing to spread around town, the players stayed focused on the goal at hand. Well, some players. Bro, I was going yeah. through a villain arc. <laughs> He's like, my puns are never good no, enough. No, it's just I'm trying to think of a pun every 10 seconds and I can't think of any. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that's a bit of a stretch? Oh, I love stairs. Wow. <laughs> okay, so if I think of a pun, I think of a pun. I think of a pun, I'll make people laugh. If I make people laugh. Thanks. Or you could I say told. these jokes are getting a little bit smooth brain. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> Hopefully they're not too dead. No. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. You give me so many ideas. <laughs> the, the possibilities. You really are. You really are. You really are the foundation of this village. Hey. Don't uh. Okay. Don't uh. Don't pull my lever. Hey, don't no. worry. I also won't press your buttons. No. Oh. You're making me. You're making me you're, you're red with run. anger. <laughs> Yo, farm, pe farm people, I'm at two hearts. I need y'all to, I need y'all <gasps> to give me some life food here. Day. But the peace was short-lived as a book mysteriously appeared at the pyramid. What seemed like a threat from the rebellion. All right, so I'll hold on to this book and quill. Tomorrow at the meeting, we'll read this out so people are at least aware and ready to defend themselves if needed. I saved myself. And so it was that the players would have one more night of peace before learning of the mysterious book. Meanwhile, the villagers were ready to go. All right, gentlemen, it is time. We have got some building to do, boys. But I think the first thing we need to do is start smelting a little bit more of our iron. And thankfully, we have a lot of iron left from our quarry. But unfortunately, I think they've successfully mined the entire quarry. So <laughs> we really need to expand. And by crafting this lantern, this is the last thing I need in order to do that. Oh, yeah, this is where it all gets interesting. Um, let's go, Terry! That's what I'm talking about. I love the hasty speed, my friends. Look, everyone's coming. We got Terry number two and Terry number three and Jonathan. So you remember how I said I wanted to keep this natural sand bridge? Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of it. I'd really rather turn this whole area into a quarry. In fact, I think I'd like to turn this entire zone into the industrial zone. Ooh. And it all starts with this quarry. Guys, guys, it's not done. It's not done. Hey, 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 look at this. The quarry has been built. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. But the building didn't stop there. Next on our agenda is the Miner's Guild House. This will let us use diamond for diamond pickaxes, meaning much faster mining. But as you can see, I've got to craft a couple of things. We need a grindstone. I need 36 campfire. I need 18 buttons. Three signs. And a couple of oak planks. And now we just need to decide where we're actually gonna put this thing so here we go <laughs> guys i gotta say i am so proud of you we are being so efficient today i'm loving hey. it hey you you really outdid yourself there pal you really yep oh yeah go ahead and do the dance we've got 10 colonists who are doing absolutely nothing right now and as you can see we now have access to not only our iron miners but also our diamond miners oh yeah this is what i'm talking about let's go all right boys time to put those iron and diamond tools to the test oh now that is what efficiency looks like right there <laughs> if only we could get a hundred more miners that would be crazy with diamond tools and more villagers we could collect resources at a much quicker rate, meaning we could build and expand our village much quicker than before. And that, my friends, is the small warrior's home, meaning we can finally bring warriors to our village. One, and if we go around here, there's another bed right there. That is what I am talking about. I actually think this is a really cool building for right here. The archways look so sick. And now we can finally hire warriors in our village. They're only using stone tools, but hey, I'll take it. This was a major accomplishment for the village. With warriors, we could now interact with other mobs. So I decided to conduct a little experiment. All right, guys, listen up. Right over there is our target. You guys think you're up to the task? I'll, I'll let you mingle. <laughs> I think the first challenge is going to be getting across the water because... Oh, hey, 
They can swim! Alright guys, he's right there. Don't do this right in front of him. We gotta do a sneak attack. Come on. Go around the back. Nicely done. Alright, alright. Draw your weapons and attack. Go, 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 go! Yeah! What? No! No, 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 no! Dylan, run! Dylan, no! <laughs> oh, we're gonna need a lot more warriors if we wanna take on these golems. Alright, Gerald, William, Benjamin, Jesse, and Brian, charge! Let's move in, units! But first, we must cross the river of despair. Go, 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 move in! Move in, move in, hurry! Come on, guys! No, William! No, no, Gerald, no! It takes five villagers. So everyone, we, we have called you here tonight because we found something. We, we found a book and Ooh. this book mm. appears to be from the rebellion. The rebellion, the time is almost near. It will be sweet. It will be a piece of cake. Soon, trademarks, the rebellious. Hey, Glazer, I have a important uh, question here. Uh, uh, okay. Are you sure this is not a face? It's not a face! It's not a face, Mom! It's not a face! Are you sure this is not a face? I swear! Oh, Phantoms! Phantoms! Unfortunately for the players, their town meeting was cut short by vicious phantoms. Up until this point, there had been way too many players to sleep the night away, but they had enough. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna I'm be real. I have had enough of these phantoms. I oh, say for the oh, first right. time on the server, we actually try to go to bed. Oh, no. So they called for all players to sleep in what became the big sleep. Despite the celebrations, the book from the rebellion left an unsettling nervousness creeping through the village. Uh, y'all, there, 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 there was just an invisible player here. With some players forming the Winrar HQ, an alliance dedicated to hunting down the rebellion, while others were relentless in their unwavering dedication to building the best village. All right, that should be enough for now, I guess. Okay, let's go build. So, despite everything going on, the players continued forward. Meanwhile, the villagers were gearing up for something big. All right, everybody, listen up. Today is the day for the great expansion, Ethan. Are you ready? I hope so. We've spent the last three days making preparation after preparation, Douglas. Oh yeah. And now, Joseph, we can finally make our final expansions into the upper district. I've got a lot of plans. I want to finish building these platforms. I want to create more farms and, of course, more houses so that we can grow the population. So we may as well get started. I'm thinking the first thing we do is start building our farm space by getting some dirt in here. Come on, guys. I'm waiting for you. Don't leave me hanging. Let's get some dirt going. And please don't fall, Ronald. Honestly, we have so many villagers now that this stuff goes so quick. Quickly, Larry, please be careful. Now that is what I'm talking about, guys. Way to be hasty. We are looking good. We're gonna have so much bread in no time. Ironically, I don't think this is going to be nearly enough food for our entire village, but you know, it's it's just gonna have to do. <laughs> With the food shortage having finally been addressed, it was time to move on to the next project of the day. Also, we have this area here underneath the warrior's home. I kind of have an idea for what I want to do with it. But first, I need these guys to build a couple of canals. Hey guys, there's got to be a much more convenient way to get up here, right? I'm sure of it. Wait, did I not build a staircase? All right, there we go. That should do it. And they've already finished. Unfortunately, I know that they can't place water, so I've got to do this part. Hello, will someone please place my sugar cane for me? I think Aaron's going to do it. Aaron, you going to do it? Let's go, Aaron! Okay, we've got sugarcane. Okay, I've got one idea, but they're not gonna like it. Don't mind us, guys. We're just doing an inspection. We're definitely not stealing your sugarcane. Guys, get it. Go. Hurry. See, Aaron knows what it's all about. Aaron is our sugarcane guy. Aaron? Aaron, you gonna... David knows what it's all about. Honestly, where would the villagers be without stealing from the nearby village? Nevertheless, the villagers were more than able to survive on their own now and had no problem making incredible progress on their village. Okay, let's get serious. I want to build this big house, which as you can see, I've got to craft a couple of things. And I can't think of a better place to put it than right there. You have no idea how long I've been wanting to build this house, but it's only the first of many for this platform. The downside to that though, 
is that this requires a lot of smooth stone and we are gonna run out very quickly. So I need to be smart about what I build next. Welcome to MC Cribs, everybody. Let's take a tour, shall we? Down here, we've got a little basement with one bed. We got another bed and that's all, two beds. Up here, we've got two more beds. That brings us to four beds for this building. And I honestly think that's all. And I still wanna build a medium warrior's home, which I actually think we might be able to do now. Hey, Larry, I've got a job for you, but I don't think you're gonna like it. Oh, it's so sad, but it's so necessary. We need the green wool. And just like that, we've got our seven green wool. All right, start building, guys. There we go. That looks a little bit nicer. You know, I'm thinking, why not build a cactus farm? That is, unless the villagers die when they touch it. <laughs> yeah, sure, guys. Just one at a time. That's that's efficient. Definitely wouldn't be more efficient just to, you know, place more than one. Looking good. Looking good. But sooner or later, they ran into a big problem. Hey, villagers, town meeting, guys. Town meeting. Guys, I've got some bad news. Yeah, I, I know you care. I know I can really tell we're really low on building resources and that's actually a huge problem as you currently know it is day four I want to build a giant pyramid on day five But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna have the resources to do that and build more houses as you may have noticed I have this really long sandstone line or more of a square This is showing us exactly where the pyramid's gonna go and as you can tell there's a bunch of sand in the way I'm thinking maybe we clear all of it out, even though hypothetically it just means more building. Guys, I know this seems like this is going to be a lot of work, but trust me, it's going to end up being worth it. We've got to clear out all of this sand so that we can get more resources to fill it back up and, and build a pyramid. And so the villagers' biggest project was underway, excavating the site for the Great Pyramid. Meanwhile, progress for the players came to a sudden halt when they became suspicious of a player thought to be a member of the rebellion. We don't want to make this difficult for you. We just want to ask. Yeah, were you part there, of the rebellion? He was definitely a yes. part of it, but we don't know about Are anymore. Are you still yes, he was. a part of the rebellion? Uh, I plead the fifth. Uh. Oh! No, we need answers, man. I'm sorry. You need to give us answers, mate. Yeah. Are you still a current yeah. part of the rebellion? I mean, oh, I, I'm not gonna tell you. Really cool, tree or something. But... Broke his tree. Oh. Oh, he's, he's trying to get away. Right, he's trying to know, get away. Yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you deal with that. That is not my thing. And unfortunately, this distraction came at a terrible time, as another natural fire nado spawned in their village once again. Only this time, it was way stronger than before, ripping its way through the edge of town, destroying anything in its path. Oh. Okay, we're done. Block the windows, block the windows. Grab moss, block up the windows. Oh, oh, oh. What? Don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> block the windows, block the windows. It's here. Okay. Oh, it's tearing the moth out of the windows. Wait. No, we're trapped even more. Oh, no. Wait. No. All right, I'll fight you, tornado. Mr. the cuffs. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, but sooner or later, the Twister had moved on. And oddly enough, all of this led to an unlikely reunion between two long lost friends. <gasps> Goose girl! Goose girl! Goose girl! Goose girl! Goose girl, is that you? Oh my god. I found Goose girl. Watch out, guys. In, the hey, Glauser, I found a new yeah, emperor. No, just... Does anyone have an anvil? Anyone? Please. I need name Goose girl. Oh. Gods, I'm afraid I need. I need an anvil, gods. <laughs> and with a proud new king, the players united together at the pyramid to discuss yet another mysterious message. All right, everyone gather around. We, every, everyone, everyone listen up. I found the book from the rebellion. <clears throat> the rebellion. Find it nine to the right, eight to the moon, three to the leg. Soon the end. <laughs> Trademark. The Rebellious. I have no idea what that means, Wait, but can it's you clearly it again, instructions please? to go somewhere. Maybe yeah, read it again, please. Use today to finish up your builds. We don't want any unfinished structures. It'll make us look bad. Tomorrow, we will go right. find the Rebellion right. using this book. Oh. Yay! Right. Woo! Maybe right. I can in the heat of Minecraft's hottest desert, the tension between the players and villagers had reached a boiling point as both sides raced to build the better village. The villagers struggling for resources and the players fighting to protect what they had built. It is the beginning of the end, which means chaos will soon befall us. Before you unsheath your swords and bows, 
Heed my words. Remember where we came from, barely scraping by. But now, now we live. We have turned this inhospitable desert wasteland into a beautiful village full of life, love, and liberty. The villagers might have more progress done, but what does that really mean? They build the same houses and walls over and over again. They follow the commands of one man. But do we? No. We follow our hearts and build freely. So remember during these last days. Remember where you came from and who you made yourself to be. Remember we built this village because we chose to. We are players. We are better than those villagers. So when times get tough and all hope seems lost, remember this. We will always win. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Let's go. All right, everyone, get building. Go. Disperse. All right, go. Let's go. Bye, bye. Last day. After the town meeting, most of the players returned to finish their building, but Klauser and other town leaders put their heads together to try and solve the riddle left by the rebellion, presuming to hold the whereabouts of their secret base. So y'all are the Winrar group. Yeah. Hmm? You've been, yes. like, investigating around trying to find who the rebels are. What information yeah. do you have? Uh, Not a lot of them. We haven't started searching. Our main goal for today is to begin searching. Well, I... I found this. Okay. I think we need an interpreter. I, I don't know. We could ask around, but... Alright, well, let's get to work. Exactly. Let's help everyone finish up. Make sure it's placed moss everywhere. Build some palm trees. You know the deal. And mm -hmm. when we feel the time is ready, we can go and hunt down these rebels. Alright, yeah. let's go. See you. But they weren't the only ones with a challenge. The villagers were beginning the monumental task of constructing the Great Pyramid, unsure of their resources and whether they would ever see it be completed. <sighs> I do not feel good about day five. To be completely honest, we are so far from where I thought we would be. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like what we've built so far. I just don't think we've built enough. To be completely honest, I severely underestimated just how ruthless the desert actually would be. All of these are so expensive to build. But thankfully, after excavating this entire platform, we should have enough resources to start the pyramid. Or at least I hope so. We have 32,000 blocks of sandstone. But I have a feeling that's not going to be enough. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Sooner or later, this is going to be a giant pyramid with all of our names written on it. Including mine, even though I, I'm just kind of standing here. Oh, I really, really hope we can pull this off. This thing is going to be absolutely insane. I mean, look how massive this thing already is, and we're only five layers up. Who would have thought all you needed is a couple of villagers to build a gigantic pyramid in only a couple of days? This is going really fast. Why are you guys in a giant cave? What's going on down there? We have a giant pyramid to be- Oh... Oh, they're hiding. I completely forgot about mobs. Oh, no. Fight for your lives, guys. Place the torches. Get this spider. Get this spider. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, Spider-Man. Whose pyramid are you in now? And while the villagers fought for their lives, the players were gearing up to do the same. Ooh. Now, okay. I think it's about time to get to work. So here's what I'm saying. It's nighttime. Prepare. Gather resources. Get some armor. Get some tools. Once, sun, once the sun rises, we're gonna go find this rebellion. Are we ready? Let's go. I certainly am. More okay. base time. All right. All right. Everyone, so go gear up. Meet back I here in the morning. And so it was that the hunt for the rebellious would soon begin, leaving little time for underprepared players to gear up in anticipation for the big battle, unknowing of what terrible things might be waiting for them. Simultaneously, the villagers were approaching the zenith of their great pyramid, on the cusp of completing the monumental structure. What if my calculations were not correct, and this pyramid does not line up? Oh, I'm so scared, Samuel. I really don't want to have to tear this down and do it all over again. I don't think Kenneth wants- I don't think Jason wants to. Jason's already done. He quit. Bye, Jason. <laughs> all right, Jack, let's continue on with the show. Where are you guys going? We're not done. Samuel. <clears throat> well, then. It's just you and me, Carl. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Carl, no, please. Carl. Carl, no, I needed you. <clears throat> well... Walter. All right, guys, we've officially made it to the clouds. Oh my God, this is getting actually crazy. I can see you down there, Walter, looking bald. I cannot believe we are here. Jonathan, it's a uh, Jonathan. 
I cannot believe we've made it to this point, Jason. And just like that, the Great Pyramid has been completed. Oh my gosh. This looks absolutely insane. And with the Great Pyramid finally being built, there was little time to finalize the village. But nevertheless, the villagers worked together to finish what they had started. I am actually so shocked, we still have 15,000 blocks of sandstone! Which means that even after building this insane pyramid, we still have enough resources to build even more houses. <laughs> oh, this is what I've been waiting for! Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. All right, guys, we also cannot forget about pathways. Every good village has pathways. And last but certainly not least, no village in the desert is complete without Walter. And also palm trees. Palm trees are equally as important. And after five long days in Minecraft's hottest desert, the players were ready to defend their peace. All right, everyone gather up. We're doing this and we're doing this now. It's sunrise and it's about Whee! time we it's about time Whee! we squash this rebellion. This Guys, what we have is good. There's plenty of us. Let's just go. Wait, wait, Let's I go find the right. Let's go! At dawn we to victory! Complete. The hunt was on as the players left behind the village that brought them together, holding peace as their highest honor, driving them to finally work together and create something truly spectacular. But little did they know, their unity was about to become even sweeter. Uh, guys, Alrighty. I am very much not oh, yeah, wait, what's that down, down there? there? However, to the right. Wait, wait, what's down there? there? Oh, Closer. Down what? what? Structure. Y'all going to the oh, wrong It's down over oh, there. Uh, it uh, might guys, be a trap. Sure this is the rebellion. No, I, don't, I, I, I don't think this looks very intimidating. Yeah, Welcome yeah, to the rebellion. Yeah. The cake so shop. Which flavor would you like? Cake? Regular cake? Cake or regular cake? What? Oh, come on. Would you like regular cake? What flavor would you like? Yeah, oh, like this is oh, oh, <laughs> What is going on? If they would have done something, they would have done it while we were all in there. They're giving us a chance yeah. to leave. Yeah, that's true. Still, I mean, I mean, I mean, cake. Okay. So, I, so I recall when we got when we got the first book, it says something about the rebellion being sweet, a, a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. was, was that mm -hmm. literal? Quite literally. Yeah. Wow. Quite literally. Is, is, is mm -hmm. that all this is? There's no death? Mm -hmm. no, no, no explosions? No deaths? No explosions? No, no deaths, no, death, no, death, no, no explosions, death. just cake. As it turns out, the Rebellion was a humble cake shop all along. Built by players with one goal, to serve a slice of unity and show that by working together, not only could they have their cake, but they could savor the sweet taste of success too. Celebrating what they had accomplished by working together to build a thriving village. I absolutely cannot believe that this is the same village that we started with on day one. I mean, it's certainly not perfect, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with this. And it all started with the McCrubble. I tried my best to make use of everywhere around the pyramid, but I kind of ran out of resources, so this side is a little barren. I think this is the biggest village that we've ever made in this entire series. I mean, look at Dennis. He's just dancing in the pathway. When I first started this challenge, I was so much more confident confident than I should have been. It turns out building in a desert is a lot more difficult than I expected. But you know what? Nevertheless, I think we did all right.